Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching from the world. And this is David telling you about our trip to Angeles yesterday again. Uh, they gave me some drops to get my infection over and, and for the most part they worked. There's a little bit of infection left in this eye. And the guy said that, um, that my cataracts aren't big enough that if they took them off that I would see a difference. I'm supposed to go see a retina guy on Monday, but I'm not going, I'll wait until I get my check because I don't know how much money I need. So, but you know, later on in the day, Rose said something to me and it made me think. And this video is for all the younger people who are watching this. What I want to tell you is in life, nothing is free. That everything that you do, you have to pay a cost for it. And the one thing that a lot of young people don't understand is that you might grow old. I never expected to get this old, but I did. You know, when, you, when you're when you drinking all the coca, Coca-Cola and smoking all the cocaine and doing all kinds of drugs and not getting a good sleep and not working out and not living a healthy and happy life, when you get old, you might have to pay for it. I'm 65 years old now. I have no teeth. I'm going blind. I can't walk. What else is wrong with me? I have high cholesterol, high blood pressure. All of this is because of the life I lived when I was young. You know, I, I wish I had to listen to people or I wish somebody had said something to me when I was younger. Maybe I'd have acted a little better so I would be okay when I'm 65. I'm not on my deathbed or anything, but I might as well be because there isn't a lot I can do for me. So when you get old and people tell you that you're lazy and it drives you crazy because you're disabled, or when you're old and you can't get up to go to the bathroom by your own self, just think back to how you lived your life before you got old. And you'll understand that this isn't something you should do. You know, it's not fun being old and being crippled, blind, and half crazy. So please take care of yourself. And, 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 you know, try and work out and get rid of the sugary drinks because diabetes is horrible. I'm not losing an arm or anything, but I, I've lost a few things because of diabetes. But that's just what I wanted to tell you guys. Think of, of you know, is this going to help you when you're 50 years from now when you get older? Because, you know, when you live a life like that, there's only a few things that can happen. One, you die, which isn't that bad because you're dead and it doesn't bother you anymore. Or, or two, you're in jail and then it'll bother you because you'll be in jail. Or three, you'll get old and be all screwed up like me. So, think about what you're doing now. Okay, that, that's it, I'm sorry. And I've had lots of plans, but I haven't, I, I haven't done any of them. My first plan was to, to leave the Philippines and go back to America. But I don't like America. And my second plan was to go to the Dominican Republic, but I don't know anybody there anymore. So I, my third plan is just to stay here and die. So I guess that's what I'm gonna have to do. You know, after eight years, even the angel Rose is sick of helping me. So, you know, it's not, you know, it's not, you don't have a, a master plan for if you become disabled or sickly. Because your master plan might not work forever. And I kind of feel bad for Rose because Every time she takes me to the bathroom, it drives her crazy. Every time I bother her when she's asleep because I need some, it drives her crazy. Every time I smoke a cigarette, it drives her crazy. So, so much for your master plan with getting a good Filipino wife. She lasted eight years. She was a great wife up to last year. And now it, it's horrible for her and for me. She thinks, 
she's the only one that's discussed that I hate having to ask for help for everything. I hate not being able to even get in the car. Now with my eyes all messed up, I can't even drive. So th there really is nothing I can do. But I don't know, so uh, I'm trying to get to 100% so I can have uh, all my operations and stuff done here in America, I mean here in the Philippines. And from what I've heard from talking to this thing, there's a way to, to uh, make my diabetes part of my, dis my disability with the Marines. And then if I can do that, I can, I can attach my eyes to my diabetes and my non-walking to my diabetes. I learned all this stuff at the VFW. And Rose has a son and he wants to go to college, but Rose doesn't want him to work and there's no way she can afford to pay for it. him going to college and paying for an apartment and paying for all his needs. So college is really out of the question for, for her son without me or without somebody. Because with me at least, if, he, if we go to America, he gets $1,400 a month. If we go to stay here, he gets $700 a month. That's what I learned at the BFW yesterday. So. I've been trying to get him to go take his SAT test so he can go to a college in America. And there, he'll have 1400 a month plus. He'll uh, um, be able to work somewhere. Because kids working in America is a lot more common than kids working in the Philippines. But in America, they work. They beg and steal too, but they work too. So that, that's something that's good. What else is going on in my life? The, the guy told me with my eyes, there's three things they can do. One is, one is the surgery. And two is there's a shot that you can take that fixes your eyes. And I forgot what the third one is. But I'm just telling you guys, please be careful of what you do with your life, you know. Quit drinking all the coke and smoking cigarettes. All that does is kill you later. If it isn't cancer that gets you, diabetes will get you sooner or later. But diabetes doesn't come from smoking cigarettes. It comes from drinking coke and eating a lot of candy and stuff. So all that stuff that you love, a lot of stuff that you love is, is not good for you. So think, think about that you're gonna get old one day. If, if, if I talk to people that I knew in my 20s, and this is the first time they've talked to me since I lived in the Canary Islands, they mainly say, oh my God, you're still alive. Nobody thought I'd live to be this old. I was so crazy. But here I am, gray-haired and toothless and blind and still here and trying to make a life out of what's left of my body. It's not easy.